hey everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm diving into a hot topic that's got political junkies buzzing is another liberal stronghold about to fall and what does this mean for justin trudeau's leadership buckle up because this by-election could be a game changer so let's set the stage the liberals have held this district for decades it's a place where they could count on votes, like you'd count on rain in Vancouver. But this time, things are looking dicey. Why? Well, let's start with Justin Trudeau. His approval ratings have taken a hit lately. Uh, from scandals to economic woes, the shine is wearing off the Trudeau brand. And this by-election is seen as a referendum on his leadership. If the Liberals lose here, it's like a red flag waving frantically in the political wind. Now, the opposition parties smell blood. They're putting everything into this race. The conservatives are like sharks circling, sensing a chance to flip the seat. And the NDP isn't sitting back either. They're hoping to siphon off enough votes to be kingmakers. But let's not forget the voters. They're feeling the pinch from inflation, housing costs, and a whole lot or Psst. Oh, Hawaii. Many are quite down in A, when they're wondering if Trudeau's liberals are really the answer to their problems. Some are even looking at fringe candidates desperate for change. This shows just how much the political landscape is shifting. So why does this by-election matter so much. Well, it's more than just one seat. It's a signal, a barometer for the next general election. Um, if Trudeau can't hold on to this stronghold, it could mean trouble ahead, big trouble. And let's talk about the candidates. Uh, the liberal candidate is a seasoned politician, but even they're feeling the heat. The conservative candidate is a fresh face, bringing a wave of change. And then there's the NDP candidate pushing a pro progressive uh, agenda hard. Uh, it's like a political soap opera with real stakes. So what should you keep an eye on? Watch for the turnout. Lower turnout usually helps the opposition and pay attention to the messaging. How are the parties framing their campaigns? Are they attacking Trudeau directly or are they focusing on local issues? In the end, this by-election is more than just a local race. It's a litmus test for Trudeau's liberals. A loss here could shake the party to its core and embolden the opposition. And for Trudeau, it's a personal test of his leadership. Can he rally his base or is the tide turning against him? So what do you think? Is this the beginning of the end for Trudeau's liberals? or just a bump in the road? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more political insights. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged. See you later.